Hi, I'm Maggie Steve Otter, and if you're watching this, it's Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day. I am very excited to be recording this video live from my office because I am releasing, for the first time ever, a small teaser for my upcoming novel, Forever, which is the final book in the Shiver Trilogy. And before you ask, I really do mean it's the final book. When we last saw our heroes and heroines in Linger, things were not looking so good for them. Grace had spent much of the book plagued by a mysterious illness, which ultimately culminated in her vomiting blood and then being turned into a werewolf by Cole St. Clair, after which she was thrown from a hospital window and escaped into the woods, leaving Sam Roth bereft, grief-stricken, and spouting poetry. He also vowed to find a cure for the wolves. So as you can see, Forever begins in somewhat of a dark place. I'm going to be reading the first two pages of Forever, and you can read the rest of it, at least in the U.S. and the U.K., on July 12th of this year. So I hope you like it. And if you don't, I don't want to know about it. Enjoy! <clears throat> Prologue. Shelby. I can be so, so quiet. Haste ruins the silence. Impatience squanders the hunt. I take my time. I am silent as I move through the darkness. Dust hangs in the air of the nighttime wood. The moonlight makes constellations of the particles where it creeps through the branches overhead. The only sound is my breath inhaled slowly through my bared teeth. The pads of my feet are noiseless in the damp underbrush. My nostrils flare. I listen to the beat of my heart over the sound of the muttering gurgle of a nearby creek. A dry stick begins to pop under my foot. I pause. I wait. I go slowly I take a long time to lift my paw from the stick. I am thinking, quiet. I am listening to the sound of my breath, thinking about the cold of the inhalation on my incisors. I'm listening to a live rustling sound nearby. It caught my attention and now it holds it. My stomach is tight and empty and I hear panicked animal. The branch beneath my paw sighs. I push further into the darkness. My ears prick. The animal is close by. This close, it sounds large and disabled. A deer? Somewhere close, a night insect fills a long moment with clicking sounds before I move again. My heart beats rapidly in between the clicks. How large? If the animal is injured, it won't matter that I'm hunting alone. Something brushes my shoulder, soft, tender. I want to flinch. I want to turn and snap it between my teeth. But I am too quiet. I freeze for a long, long moment and then I turn my head to see what is still brushing my ear with a feather touch. It is something that I can't name, floating from the air, drifting in the breeze touches my ear again and again and again. My mind burns and bends, struggling to name it. Paper? I don't understand why it is there, hanging like a leaf in the branch when it is not a leaf. It makes me uneasy. Beyond it, scattered on the ground, there are items imbued with an unfamiliar, hostile smell the skin of some dangerous animal shed and left behind. I shy away from them, lips curl, and there, suddenly, is my prey. Only it is not a deer. It is a girl, twisting in the dirt, hands gripping soil, whimpering. Where the moonlight touches her, she's stark white against the black ground. Fear ripples off of her. My nostrils are full of it. 
Already uneasy, I feel a fur at the back of my neck prickle and rise. She is not a wolf, but she smells like one. I am so quiet. The girl doesn't see me coming. When she opens her eyes, I am right in front of her, my nose nearly touching her. She was panting soft, heated breaths onto my face, but when she sees me, they stop. We look at each other. Every second that her eyes stay on mine, more fur raises along my neck and spine. Her fingers curl in the dirt. When she moves, she smells less wolf and more human. Danger hisses in my ears. I show her my teeth. I ease backward. All I can think of is retreating, getting only trees around me, putting space between us. Suddenly, I remember the paper hanging in the tree and the shed skin on the ground. I feel fenced in, this strange girl in front of me, that alien leaf behind me. My belly touches underbrush as I crouch, tail tucked between my legs. My growl starts so slowly that I feel it on my tongue before I hear it. I am trapped between her and the things that smell like her, moving in the branches and laying on the ground. The girl's eyes are on mine still, challenging me, holding me. I am her prisoner and I cannot escape. When she screams, I kill her. Happy Valentine's Day.